On modern crop farms, the spend on plant protection products, fungicides, herbicides, insecticides, can range anywhere from 150 euros per hectare right up to 300 euros per hectare. So it's important that we get those products applied to the crop evenly and accurately. And that's the role of the sprayer. And on the sprayer itself, probably the most important component is actually the cheapest one or the least expensive one. And that's the nozzle tip. Because these, the selection of the right nozzle will determine uh, the correct water application rate, the correct application rate of the chemical itself, and the correct spray distribution on the, on the plant itself. So correct nozzle choice is hugely important. So where do you start? Uh, how do you select the nozzles for your sprayer? The first protocol really is the, the label of the product itself because it will give guidance in terms of the required water volume per acre or per hectare and also the, the required spray quality or spray size distribution. So that's the starting point. And then when, when, that's, when that's decided, we can pick nozzles. And today the nozzles are actually all color coded. So these blue nozzles are a particular size and a particular output. So we can pick the nozzles and fit them to the sprayer. So for most, for most growers, the choice is often between the type of nozzle a standard flat fan nozzle or a low drift nozzle. This one here is actually an air induction nozzle and this nozzle by taking air in as, it's apply, as the chemical has been applied to the crop it changes the size distribution of the droplets hugely. We have much larger droplets from this, much less prone to drift uh, and, and much, much more better targeted on the crop itself. So the air induction nozzles can be used in most situations but the, the, the droplet distribution size is different, so they're not, they're not perfect for all situations. Where your target is very small, such as with a small grass, for instance, with a herbicide, you, may, you, would, you would be better with a standard nozzle than this. So for most growers, the best option is actually to fit two, both types of nozzle to their sprayer, to their nozzle holders. So if they're both a blue O3 nozzle, it means they can switch from a low drift nozzle to a standard nozzle and vice versa depending on the weather conditions and the crop situation that you're doing without influencing anything else in terms of the calibration, forward speed and so on. So to have both types of, of the nozzle at the same size on the holder is the best option. But the nozzle is, will only work if everything else is right. So we'll pass over to Brendan. So to get the proper application rate with your sprayer, you need to be confident of a couple of things. And number one is your pressure gauge that is reading correctly. Now this is a quite a good size pressure gauge, which would be normal enough specification, where this one here is way too small and very difficult to read that from the tractor cab. So with this one here, if you're working at two bar pressure, you need to be able to check that that is working. If it's a new gauge, that'll be fine. But if you're not confident, put a new nozzle on, and this is an O3 at two bar, that should give you, if you check your nozzle output, that should give you one liter per minute. So checking that, O3 nozzle, two bar, one minute, you should get one litre. So that's a good way of checking that then. If all that is correct then, the next thing you will check is your forward speed in your tractor. And most modern tractors may have some GPS system which would be very, very accurate, but if the tractor has a wheel mounted speed sensor or its own inbuilt in it, you need to check that because there can be a difference in it there. So you need to measure out a distance in the field and check your forward speed in that. To, if you want to do eight kilometres or 10 kilometres, that's what it's doing. And the last thing then, if that, if you're still not confident that you're getting the right rate is check your filters then you'll check your filters on a, a daily basis anyway but if you're getting erratic uh, outputs it will be a problem with your filters probably so you have your suction filters here your basket filter going into the tank and then lastly is your uh, nozzle filters here so they will all need to be checked to make sure you're getting the proper rate so in summary the correct nozzle whether low drift air, air induction or not the right the right pressure and the right forward speed getting the combination of the three of those together uh, is essential for good spraying practice.